What we're going to look at doing now is taking our STL file and how we can print them on the MakerBots. So we've used something like Tinkercad or another CAD program to produce our object. We've exported it as an STL CAD file. Now what we want to do is use MakerBot print to slice our image and actually get it ready to go on the printer. So the first thing we need to do is actually add a printer. So if we click on the add printer, we can add an unconnected printer and we want to add a replicator plus and then we can close that panel down. Then we want to go to the folder on the top left hand corner and click on add. We can then go add models. We can then go to our desktop, select the file that we want. In this case here, it's actually called Among Us STL. You can see the object here, click on open. And here's our little object. Now once we've got our object on screen, we can then go across, click on the cog for print settings. Then we want to head down to custom settings and we want to add some bridging and we want to put support under bridges. Down the bottom, we also want to pay, change the support type to breakaway support and then click on done. Now once we've finished that, we can then close the print settings and then we can click on export. This will then export the file so we can actually print the file on the MakerBot. So give it a name like Among Us. And then I'm going to put print on the end. So I know this is the one that I want to print and I'm also going to put that on my desktop. And click on save. Now you can see at the end of our build, we can actually see how much material it estimates to use. And the estimated time to print is one hour and two minutes. All right, now we can put that onto a USB and take it to the MakerBot.